Uh, welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Rex. I'm Daniel. He's a level three whiskey sommelier. He, I've lost count. Just, uh, I give you the respect of knowing your level of sommelier. Because <laughs> it's three. You can count it on one hand. You know what? You're in the thousands. Seven thousand. No, no, I definitely know that's not the you case. You don't know. No, no. You don't know. I'm going to be generous and say 1,800. You know why 7,000? 8, 1,800. Give you Come on. I'll give you a specific reason. I leveled up an incredible amount because it was several days ago. I was in your office and something really great happened with your family. I wasn't listening, but you were celebrating, which is great because that helps me. Mm. And he pulls out this bottle and it was like a thousand dollar bottle. Oh, it's 32 it, year old Lafroy. Yes. And it would. So All right. that poor, I Fair leveled enough. up. So what is seven thousand? Okay, that single pour was like an insanely fair enough. Seven thousand pour. Yes. Now let's drink something that's not thirty-two year old Lafroy. Okay. Here uh, we go. Here we go. Yeah. We're drinking Bellmead bourbon. Have I had this? No. Wait. Yes. Yes, you have. I poured it for you. Yeah. Obviously, it made a huge impression. No. Here's the thing. And. <laughs> Knowing this audience, this is blasphemy. There's like two whiskeys you've ever poured me that I remember like clearly. All the others is just a wash in a giant sea of free stuff. And you could say anything. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that sounds interesting. Uh, the thing you just said. Uh, that's that's awesome. what I need desperately right now. A wash of free stuff. Mm. All right. So Bill now, okay, I'm doing this because, and my, I just totally forgot his name on the YouTube channel. Lewis He's Wells. a new, no, he, he also said it, but there's a new commenter, and he had said, hey, um, is there a bourbon oh, yeah. that is as complex is there? as scotch? Is this the thing? Is now, this what we're trying out right now? Here's the thing. I'm the wrong person to answer that question because I think scotch is better than bourbon. No, You're doing it all wrong, even if you don't know anything. You should say, take a cue, job. take a cue from me. Uh, like, oh, let me guide you very expertly. Yeah, well, what I can tell you is, in my experience, the answer is no. But I'm always willing to be proven wrong no, no, with what, the right bourbon. What would your, what would your buddy, the, the, the bourbon blog guy, what would he say? He would agree with me. Um, because, and now keep in mind, because they add a step to scotch that doesn't exist in bourbon, which is peat smoke. Okay. And so they get to have another thing to add to their layers of uh, flavor complexity. Mm -hmm. So I think that naturally just means they can have more variations. Could a bourbon maker add things to bourbon and still have it be bourbon? You can't do uh, Well, and then it becomes a blended whiskey. Okay. And um, and then you have other things, other mm. problems. Now there are American single malts that are complex because yeah. they smoke their whiskeys like scotch. So I would say there's some American whiskeys that are as complex it's as Not necessarily whiskeys, labeled as bourbon. But not necessarily bourbon. Okay. This smells now, this nice. one is, um, Bellmead, this is uh, Chris and W.A. Nelson started this. Mm -hmm. They're like eighth generation descendants of Charles Nelson, who in evidently made Bellmead whiskey in 1860, six years before Jack Daniels started. <laughs> yeah. Right? Now, it went, went away, was lost to time. Um, they opened it up a few years back, and they are buying their whiskey at MGP. Now, you've heard a lot about MGP mm -hmm. now. They, but they were hand selecting barrels and mixing. Four barrels for yeah. every bottling. Okay. Every bottle, okay. four barrels. Hold on a second. Just tried this. I really like it for half of the way. And right. then it's cough syrup. It is the, undeniably, the aftertaste of cough, of cough syrup. And if you deny it, you're wrong. Because cough syrup. Oh, God, you're right. Yeah. See, this has been one of my favorite bourbons, but you just ruined it for me. You're welcome. I do that. I, I ruin things. By the way, if you're... Yelling in the background. There's a class going on. Yeah, in we're the doing tower. this during class in the tower. And uh, here's how much. And of, three of my Somalis are here. Oh, nice. They're not on well, video. Though. Here's how much. Here's how much of a nerd Daniel is, is because I've been standing here for like 20 damn minutes. Yeah. And Daniel's been researching the whole time prior to these shoots, and finally he looks at the clock and goes, "Oh my God, we're almost out of time. We're not going to be able to shoot hardly any videos." <laughs> Get off the damn computer yeah. and drink some whiskey. Priorities. I'm trying. Yeah. Okay. So, so let's add some water and see if it's the oils that are doing that. No, it's the Robitussin that's doing it. <laughs> no, most people don't know this. Bell Mead adds Robitussin. 
Now, they're not making their own whiskey. They're getting their barrels from MGP or Indiana and um, then mixing four barrels together to create their flavor profile. I still think it's an amazing whiskey, which is more proof to me that MGP makes good whiskeys. Um, they are planning on making their own. Okay. They have the recipe that dates back to 1860. Sure. So, Robitussin is very old, very old is what you're telling me. Uh, I just, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't get past the Robitussin. If I could stop tasting this Cherry. halfway through. Cherry Robitussin. Yeah. If I could stop tasting halfway man, through. Man, you really ruined this for me. I'm saying, man. And this is like a good thing. This yeah. is supposed to be a really well, wonderful I, thing. This has been one of my preferred bourbons for like a year and a half. You obviously don't know what you're doing. Evidently not. You need me here to help. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, help I'm helping you not love whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> no, this, uh, look, I'll finish it because... Mooches can't just, you know, not finish a free whiskey. But um, I'm hoping you, you, you're going to treat me a little nicer in the next video. This is a really poor entry. You, 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 you managed to set the bar. Okay, so, well. well, this guy also this said... Is, this is embarrassing for you. This guy also said uh, he was suggested bourbons, so looking for a complicated bourbon. He also said I needed to pour you Laphroaig. Oh, no. I think he was trying to shock you. Oh, no, not Laphroaig. Uh, but what he doesn't realize what is... What would I ever do if you played That's like me? saying, hey, you should give that drug addict some cocaine. That would really surprise him. <laughs> it's like, like, oh, no, no, Remember the story, please. like, the rabbit in the brown No, patch? wait. Rabbit. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. No, don't throw, don't, don't throw a punch. Don't give me a, a very generous pour of Lefroy. What will I do? <laughs> okay. I think we're done here. We are. Um, I feel like I should like this more. But uh, the initial just blast rubbitism, I can't get past yeah. it. Yeah. Well, they're based in Nashville. Does that make any difference? No. That means nothing. Okay, that was my last try. Uh, Nashville's like... Oh, well then I take it all back. <laughs> Nashville, you say. Oh. <laughs> but Nashville's cool. All right, well, sure. till tomorrow, may your crazy stay this side of legal. And may you return before we have time to miss you. Cheers. Cheers.